Welcome back into this new video text press. Today, I'm going to show you how to add a drop down menu into Elementor. So get started because we're going to be doing this really fast and easy. Now, first of all, the down dropped menus are a great way to organize your elements uh, directly using website navigation and make it easy for visitors to find what you're looking for. So in this tutorial, let's show you how to create a customized drop down menu. I'm going to be using Elementor. So to do this process, I'm going to be needing to have a WordPress account. And once you have a WordPress, you might need to have an actual plugin in order to have access directly to download uh, plugins. So inside the WordPress, I'm going to focus into the LePod, scroll all the way down and look out for plugins. Into plugins, let's go for add new plugin. And here, what I wanted to do is to look out here for the word Elementor. So once you look out for Elementor, you want to make sure that you can install it. After you have installed it, you just get into active. And you now might be having access directly into the Elementor. Now, to get started now to create a menu into WordPress, let's go directly into our uh, WordPress dashboard. And into my WordPress dashboard, you can locate your menus. So scroll a little bit down and you can locate your menus. Let's locate appearance. Into appearance, I'm gonna look out for menus. And here it is. Now inside menus, you can click into create a new menu and start adding your menu items. So into add menu items, for example, I have the most recent add to the menu and I can start an actual structure. So I can start totally with something new. So for example, create your first menu below. So menu number one should be home. The page, I'm gonna delete this, remove. I'm gonna add my card, the checkout, Elementor 188. I'm gonna just leave this because we're gonna be using Elementor. Introducing the notary page wall place. I don't want to see this until on delete my account, the sample page, I don't want to see it, and the shop, let's go and add it on the upper side, like this. So, once I have done this process, then what I can do is to go for create the menu. And you should be seeing now that your menu should be created automatically. Now, to add the pages, the uh, posts, or custom links you want to include into your drop-down menu, you want to arrange them into the design order, and use the drag and drop feature to nest them until under a parental item to create a drop-down effect. So the drop down effect is something we can actually done here. For example, we have the Elementor 188. I want it to be this part of the My Account section. So I'm going to put this a little bit down. I'm going to drag it a little bit to the right. So you can see that this now appears inside My Account section. So into the display location, I'm going to go for Navigation Menu and automatically add new top level pages into this menu. It's going to be really important to do this process to see it later. Once your menu is organized, we can then assign it to the upper page menu location, such as the primary menu or have a menu, depending on your theme. Now, let's add the menu to the element or header. So let's go back into the left side and let's go for templates. Into templates, I'm going to go for a theme builder. And here in the theme builder, I can look out for Elementor. So the theme builder, you can see that we have the theme builder in here. We can choose Elementor. So in this case, I can just close this. I go for Elementor and I can look out now for a new theme builder. But in this case, I wanted to focus only into my theme builder. I choose a template, which in this case, it's totally for free since we have an actual uh, Elementor free plan. So in here, we have the Hatham. Here's a footer, a single page, single post, achieved product achieves product results and so much more. So to get started in case demise every part of my site, I'm going to look out for something which is totally for free. So into all my parts, I'm going to try to look out for the theme builder, which in this case should be an upgrading. And the widgets you have had in here, what you want to do is to select the menu you created from the drop down menu. You can customize it later, but in this case, I'm going to look out for the upper side. Let's go for menu. And into my editor, I should see that this menu is now here listed into click to edit. So select the menu number one, and you can see that we have this uh, drop down menu. So something really easy that we have just used it here into the WordPress. So I can add a secondary widget area if I wanted to, to add block widgets. And adding those directly from an actual gallery and upload more elements. And after that, go for properties. Now, back into the Elementor, you want to make sure that you are using an actual Elementor Pro plan. If you are not using the Elementor Pro plan, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to add the drop-down menu using the Elementor Pro. 
The process is exactly the same. Once again, you just want to go back directly into your WordPress, check out the custom theme, and adding the actual drop down menu that we had just created and add it directly from the editor of the actual Elementor. So, as you can see, this process is not that hard. Actually, it's really, really simple. But just in case you wanted to do this totally for free, you wanted to go directly into the editor of WordPress. Into the editor of WordPress, you just want to type here the actual menu that you have just created and automatically should be added directly inside here, your website. And you can see that the drop down is not appearing in them. So once again, we have the link down below in the description, guys, just in case you wanted to try it out the actual Elementor Pro for a few days. So guys, with that being said, you can now reach the very end of the video. Don't forget to like, to share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great elements of the actual great element or tool. Once again, this one comes with a really great plan. You want to try this out later on. So, thank you once again for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, we can see you next time.